wake up every morning when the clock strikes eight. I'm always punctual, never, never late. With a nice cup of tea, a little run of toast, the sporting life and the winning case. I get so nice and tidy when I toddle off to work. I do the best I can. Still, I'm only a doing what a bloke should do, cause I'm only a working man. Tell me all about him. What excuse have you got this time? You know, one day I'm going to put all your excuses in a book and call it fairy tales for all ages. <laughs> You're under starter's orders. <laughs> the more you come in here, the taller your stories get. They're what? White flags up, white flags. <laughs> what happened down at the factory? <laughs> They're off. <laughs> The job. What happened to the job? Hey? What happened to the job? I don't mention it. Must have got left at the start. <laughs> I don't know what this is leading to, but I can tell you it's not going to work. Now, where's the green card? Making up ground on the outside. <laughs> now listen to me. I stood about as much as I'm going to from you. Twenty years I've been listening to your cock and bull stories. Twenty years you've been coming in and out of this place. How much longer do you think it can go on? About another three furlongs. <laughs> Now listen, you can start talking sense and I'll do what I can to help you. Or you can carry on with that gibberish and I'll aim you straight out through that door. Now which is it to be? It's a photo finish. A photo finish? A photo finish, yes, photo finish. But I think it'll be all right because they mentioned my horse oh, first, you see. They said a photo finish between Silver Dawn and Grey Scares. But they mentioned my one first. It's usually the one they mention first, what wins, you see. It goes up to Sir Humphrey Discredence. Now, he will look at the thing and he'll say it to be mine. Just a matter of formality. 